Divi has brand new features. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about hover editing. It was released a few days ago. So I'm gonna show you how it works and how you can apply it into your own designs. Now this feature is fantastic. I've tried it a few times and this is very, very creative and I'm sure you'll agree with me. But before I show you how this feature works, if you haven't bought Divi yet, uh, I have an affiliate link in the video description below. If you buy Divi using my link, I will give you access to my Divi Blueprint 3 course and my Photoshop for web designers course. So the link to that is in the description below. All right, let's dive in and let me show you how these latest features work. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with creating a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here, click on add new. Of course, these features work on your existing pages or your existing website. The only thing that you need to do is to make sure you're running the latest version of Divi. So to do that, you can just come over here to your dashboard and make sure you click on updates because sometimes it doesn't show. So you need to refresh your website and, and as you can see here, now it's showing. So all you gotta do here is to click here, click up, uh, update themes, and this now is going to update your Divi theme. So as you saw, sometimes it doesn't show. So you'd really need to go in and click on that uh, button which says update. So once everything is updated, as you can see here, it's time now to go in and test this new feature. So I'm gonna come over here and click on add new to add our new page, uh, let's call this a uh, new feature. But as I mentioned, you can use this on existing pages. So I'm gonna go ahead now and click on use Divi Builder. And this is going to give me options on how I'm going to start designing my page. So you can either choose, choose a pre-made layout or you can go to build from scratch. So I'm just gonna come over here to make things easier for me. And I'm going to start off by just choosing two columns. In this first column, I'm gonna do this feature, the hover editing on images and just show you how cool it is. So I'm gonna search for my image module and click image. Right, so I'm gonna go in, uh, choose my image. But as you know, this is pretty much how things were before. I'll just go in, add my image, Psh, no problem. Now, the update is right here. When you click here on this uh, upward uh, arrow, now this gives you an option to hover. But now we can actually add an image which shows up when you hover on it. So let me show you how to do that. Let's add our image first, like that. Upload an image. So now we have an image on the hover state. So for this example, this is just the basics. I'm just gonna use this as my first example. Now let's save this page and let's test this. So right now I'm saving the page. I'm gonna exit the visual builder. Right, so when visitors come to your website and they put their mouse over this, notice what happens. So now you can do you know, creative stuff now with your images and you can add different states as you're designing your website. Now, as I mentioned, this also works on your existing uh, content on your website. Let's dive in and do a few more examples. Right, so, for, so the next example I'm gonna do here is a button, okay? Basic button. So I'm gonna come over here, search for a button module, select it. All right, so as you can see here, it says click here. Now before, we didn't have this option here where you have this arrow for hover, okay? So now we can do this on content and this is what makes this uh, update really, really exciting. So check this out. So right now it says click here. I'm just gonna leave it as that. So now I can change the text of this button by coming over here on hover and then I can just say, get your discount now. So what happens now is when you mouse over this, this is what shows, but by default, it just says click here. So again, these are creative ways you can just use on your buttons, okay? I'm gonna save this. Now let's try uh, a few more examples. Let's work with a blurb now this time. So I'm gonna come over here and search for my blurb, okay? I'm gonna select it. So this time I'm not gonna use an image because we've already used an image in this example right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use an icon this time. So I'm gonna come over here and click here on where it says use icon. And then I'm just gonna choose an icon to go with this. So I wanna use this speaker, okay? I mean the speaker icon. So I'm gonna start off with this state, okay? And then I'm gonna click here on this arrow like that, click on hover, and then I'm gonna add the second state, okay? So this is my hover state. Now, as normal, we can just go in and start um, designing our blurb as normal. So let's come over here to design and then we can do some, uh, some changes here. So I'm gonna leave the icon color as it is. I'm gonna put this in a circle and my icon color, let's go with, 
Okay, let's go with the dark color here for icon circle. The size is fine, but of course, if I need to change that, I can always come over here. Now let's change the text. So I'm gonna come over here to my text, center it, and I think I'm gonna make my heading text here bold. Okay, so I'm just gonna come over here, click on this brush tool, and I'm just gonna change my font and weight here to bold. Okay, there we go. So that's all I'm gonna do here. I don't do a lot of changes, and then I'm gonna save. Okay, so that's my second example. So we can continue and do you know way more examples here. We can also do this um, the the hover uh, the hover editing for also sections. We can do it for rows. We can do it for so many things. So it's a matter of just going into your different modules and then just see where that option is. So, so let's try something here. Now this is pretty much something I haven't uh, you know uh, tested to see how it works. But uh, let me just choose something that I haven't used here. So let's say I want to use, um, okay, let's go with testimonial, right? So with this testimonial, same thing. Over here, every time you see this um, little arrow, it means that you can add hover state. So where it says name goes here. So maybe this could be Jack. On hover, you may want to maybe name this uh, Jones. For example, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but this is just showing you, you know, how you can just, you know, make these changes. You see, like over there, Jack Jones is changing, okay? And this also happens on the body text. So if you want, you can, yeah, on hover, you can show, you know, different, uh, different uh, text. So you can come over here and start typing. So it's up to you how you may want to play around with this. All right, so for now, I'm just going to save this. And then I'll, let's take a quick preview and see what sort of changes... Uh, we're getting when we do the hover state. In fact, before I do that, let me show you also what happens with our sections. So I'm gonna come over here, and this time I'm just gonna do a background uh, change. So first of all, I'm gonna start off with, uh, let's say this color right here for my background. I know it looks ugly, uh, but this is just for demo purposes, okay? So uh, in fact, let's use, okay, let's use this um, color right here. On hover, I'm gonna change this to, okay. It's gonna be a subtle change, but that's gonna be our state on hover. All right, so now I'm gonna save this page and then I'm gonna exit the Visual Builder and then show you how the hover state works on all these items that we've just created. All right, so my page is saved. I'm gonna exit the Visual Builder. And then now, notice what happens. Here's my mouse pointer. If I come over here, you can see it's changing. Okay, I know it's very subtle and hopefully you can see this on, on YouTube. Okay, there we go, it's changing. Now let's work on our image. If I put my mouse over here, notice that it's changing. Now remember what we did to the button? Uh, we changed it from click here to get your discount now. See? So the hover states now also work with content editing. So this is really, really cool. And this is, I think, something you may want to play around with and see how it um, enhances your designs. Now let's move on to the next item that we, uh, we changed and this was the icon. Now notice when I put my mouse over here, it's gonna change as well, okay? And this also applies to the text. If we had changed the title here, that would have changed as well. Moving on here, we've changed the Jack to Jones, if you remember. So these are just a few examples that you can do, but of course you wanna do this in a very creative way. So I will have future tutorials where I'll show you how creatively you could use these features. But in today's episode, I just wanted to show you uh, where the changes are and how you can start applying them in your design. Tell me what you think about this design. Do you like it? Do you, uh, are you gonna use it? Uh, just leave your comments in the comments box below. I'll be excited to see what you think about this uh, feature. Now, as I mentioned earlier on, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my Divi Blueprint 3 course, my Photoshop for Web Designers course, and WordPress for Beginners. So these all, all you need to do is, you just need to click the link, it will give you all the instructions of what you need to do, and then we just take it up from there. All right, guys, uh, thank you all very much for watching. I will see you again in the next video where we'll be talking about responsive editing. Now, this is really cool because you can actually design a website for the desktops and design a totally different website for uh, tablets and smartphones using responsive editing. All right, guys, take care. See you in the next video.